And it looks like we're going to be starting FD, actually. Okay. Um, this is an interesting uh, matchup because uh, Lucario is one of those characters that you can kind of overwhelm. Uh, like, he's got, so he's got okay buttons, solid buttons at best. Um, and, like, he still can scrap, but, like, compared to the other characters who can do, like, close-range stuff, uh, might uh, be leaving something to be desired. So, you know, Wolf is a character who definitely can, like, when he gets in, oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Lucario definitely still has uh, some good stuff going for him. Uh, having a, a scary projectile, some, some like, confirms and stuff, uh, down air, uh, decent mobility, so... I'm going to see how we can deal with, like, uh, these edge guards against Wolf. Yeah. You know. uh, another thing about Lucario is his pressure with the Aura Sphere. Something that's yep. unique to him is having the hitbox on the charging, which can lead to semi-confirms or just scaring you into shielding. Yeah, that's the other thing is that, like, you ha you're like, like this character demands respect, mm -hmm. which means it can be uh, pretty spooky uh, when you're just... <laughs> <laughs> when you're trying to go in, and it's just like, oh, where where you uh, where you may come short a little bit on like uh, like your actual options. It's just that your stronger ones demand more respect. So you're just like, oh boy, oh boy. Mm. You know, especially if you get up to those higher percents. So right, this is the part where you want to try and like kind of suffocate him, put on as much damage as possible, try and uh, keep your damage low. Because uh, if you want to keep it even, you're both getting high in percent, but he's also getting stronger at the same time. Mm -hmm. But right now, Vivi is not even needing too much aura. Keep an LRA start at, at the ledge. Mm -hmm. Pretty good so far. Ooh, F smash catching the jump out of shield. Nice nearing out of the out of disadvantage. I will look for another uh, force palm after uh, setting up the aura, aura sphere pressure. Looking for it again. Vivi now at 60. Not a whole lot of aura on the table, but LRA with a lot of percent. Could be seeing death pretty soon. Ooh. Vivi waited for that air dodge. And that's something that's so scary is Aura Sphere doesn't even like have to connect or confirm into anything, but it just makes you so scared into doing something. And more often than not, the Lucario has a way to deal with it. You're shielding, you get force palmed. If you do anything else, you might just get hit with the giant aura sphere. Yep. Uh, all right, so now, okay, making it just clearing right past the edge guard situation. Elrithar wasn't really ready for that, but I mean, like, there's so much space you have to be uh, like ready for. Like at that point, it's just a read. Um, yeah, and that's another thing that's scary about Aura Lucario is how far uh, extreme speed goes. Yeah. It can be so difficult to deal with. Like, I don't know when that move has a hitbox. I don't know when it has end lag. I don't know where it's going. All right, so, oh, okay. I think that was a two-frame uh, with the downer on the, the Wolf Uppy. What is the name of Wolf Uppy? Uh, I don't know, actually. All right, Wolf Uppy. Yep, that's what it's <laughs> called. All right, uh, LRA start closing the gap, getting some more percent. But right now, uh, Vivi looking for the kill, getting all that scary, uh, those scary moves that can like lead into a confirm. Ooh, there we go. All right, catching LRA jumping in with that giant, uh, giant F, F smash hitbox. Yep. Uh, well, is it real back? F smash is definitely one of those moves that, you know, uh, it, 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 it requires a read on setup, but, like, it just means that, like, you can't get too uh, hungry on your approach. Mm -hmm. Because the moment you do that, is it actually Firewolf, Munoz? It's, re it's actually Firewolf? That's really, really funny. Yeah, I mean, you have Fire, Fox, Fire, Bird, and I, I guess yeah, if it's actually Firewolf. It's not even on fire. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's not fire, but whatever. Anyway. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, like, that's a move that, like, uh, you have to bait with your movement. Uh, you gotta make them think that uh, you're gonna do something, and then you'll run back, and then you catch them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. Getting into game two. Uh, VV's bands were Town and City and PS2. Uh, LRI start electing go to go back to FD. Honestly, not that bad of a choice, just because it was fair. It was pretty close, and like, if he wants to be the variable that changes, keep everything the same. 
and uh, he is the change he needs in life, and he will do it. I agree. Yeah. Good life. Uh, good positivity. <laughs> 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 All right. So LRA start uh, starting off with a pretty good early lead, but yeah, just again, extreme speed. I don't know what Whoa. it does. Yeah, so uh, LRA start getting like a pretty good uh, beginning, but you need to seal out the stock versus yeah. this character. Great confirm by VV. Yeah. The Aurasphere, Aurasphere up air. You know, um, I know Lucarios don't like it when we just say like, oh, they, they want to be at high percent, but you know, uh, one of those things where it's just like, ah, I put you at high percent and I didn't lock out the kill, so now the comeback factor is in. And uh, yeah, but uh, LRA start was able to even up the stocks pretty evenly, so now very low uh, percents here. Essentially yeah. a two-stock match now. Let's see what we can do. We got an edge guard potentially. Just about Ooh. dead even game. All right. So um, I don't. It, it might not have been intentional, but Vivi did bait that get-up attack <laughs> because he did uh, a down air, and that forced uh, and that made LRA start do uh, get-up attack. But he's got to remember not to do something like that because that move has very low cooldown, mm -hmm. and so you know that's what got him caught in that aura sphere. Anyway, uh, even even percent. I already start missing that, uh, <laughs> that ledge trap. Honestly, I want to say uh, even though like the percents are pretty even, Vivi has been hanging on to center stage pretty much the entire time. He's been in like an advantageous position, but then he flies into center to go s flying up into the blast zone. Already start ready to catch that uh, extreme speed and. Uh, Send him to the next stop. Absolutely. Great read by LRA Start. And yeah, Force Palm not really even close to killing now. Uh, this is absolutely where LRA Start wants to be, is uh, with stock lead, BB at some low percentages. Not going to be worried too much about dying for at least a little bit. So he is at 160% uh, are climbing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yep. up air is going to do it. Yeah, we already saw that uh, earlier in this set uh, that that is a confirm. Uh, you mm -hmm. land the first one, uh, combo to the other one, and it just sets you up to get that uh, whatever move. I, I think back air or up air. So, yeah, now even stocks. Uh, LRA start with a bit of a percent lead. See if he can turn this into a W. But like we saw on the very first stock of this game, you know, was able to pull a lead but didn't secure the stock. And that... <gasps> <laughs> Bro. Miss missing attack against Lucario. I see my life flash before my eyes. Yeah. And when you get that muscle memory where you roll toward your opponent and then they read it and then it's Lucario <laughs> and you're like, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh God. But uh, Vivi actually uh, second-guessed it there. But once again, uh, the retreating forward smash going to uh, seal it out. Uh, great bait with just, like, movement in general. Um, mm -hmm. And I, Vivi was only at 75, LRA at about 85 right before. I don't think he even had a chance of surviving that. That move is oh crazy powerful. This is so good. Okay, let's talk about this, right? Uh-huh. So, like, he goes for he goes for the, uh, the Aura Sphere. So he's just like, oh, look, I'm doing something, right? Mm -hmm. And so then that makes uh, LRA start go... I can come in with a button. And, like, Vivi's just, like, got him, you know? <laughs> so, like, we go a bit further, right? And he just cancels the charge. And so now he's done a move. And he's just, like, yeah, you you fool. Uh, <laughs> this was a bait the entire time. My trap card. Eat this. Yeah, exactly. You literally activated his trap card. Uh, so really good stuff to Vivi. Uh, th that's the thing. You have to respect it. Like, you can cancel your moves. And, like, if you need to restart to neutral, uh, just, just do it. You know, you're you're better off. Yeah, no. Trying to punish just the aura sphere charge on its own. Yeah. Is not a good idea. Vivi was sitting there saying, "Hello, please near me." Yeah. It, it's it's one of those things that like when you see Sonic like charging, uh, like spin dash, and you're like, you want to come in with something. Yeah. But like, don't just swing because they're controlling that situation. You know, that you know, with with either being able to cancel it or let it rip, and like. You can't make that read. They are reacting, mm -hmm. you know? So it's a scary situation. Yeah, they're they're setting the pace at that point in time. Yeah, so just respect it. Reset to neutral. Put yourself in a... Uh, orchestrate a position where you don't have to play that minigame. And uh, you'll be better off for mm -hmm. it. 